Now, how do you mix your NYX shots into your e-liquid? Well, I'm going to show you. So, what I've got here is a bottle from Vape Heads. Uh, this is Unicorn Blood. Now, I tend to like my e-juice at a 3 milligram level, which means I'm going to have to add in two NYX shots into this liquid. So, I've got the two NYX shots here. There's one, there's two, and these have come also from Vape Head. So, they came with the with e-juice the e when I ordered it. And it's a straightforward process to put them in. Now, I believe these are pure VG juice, and the juice itself, it says on the front there, it says it's 8020, which is what I like because it's cloud. And at the back there, it says it's zero milligram. So, this is a very straightforward process. You just want to take your time when you're doing it. So, we'll crack this open. I've not opened this yet, so there we go. And it's got a little pour and stopper at the top there, which is quite useful. But in order to mix it, E juice in, you need to take it out, so I've got that out. There we go, let's just put that to the side. And then we crack open one of these. And it's got the pourer on the top there. Uh, what I tend to do is pop these bits off just for convenience. And E juice in, and you want to go nice and slow with this, so it's just a little gentle pour in. And you're just going to pour it in gentle because you're not quite. You don't want it to just be sitting on the top, so you just pour it in gentle. Now, I'm going to be doing 3 milligram on this, which means I'm going to be putting two bottles of this in. These are quite firm bottles, so it's a bit of a squeeze getting them in. Um, what I tend to do is keep these little bottles, so once I've got all the nicotine in the e-juice, I'll then keep the little bottles aside and when I'm going out the house and I want to take a bit of extra e-juice with me, I'll fill one of them up. I tend to keep about three of these in my pocket with different e-juices in it for whatever mods I'm taking. Just because if you're out of the house, you need a bit of backup e-liquid. It's like when I used to smoke, I used to always carry around extra tobacco, extra rolling papers, extra filters. So it's, so it's a good habit. And you see, I'm doing this nice and slow, so little squeezes just want to put it in nice and slow and I'm gonna get there so this is taking a little while because it is as I say a slow process so I'll get this one done okay, so here we go this is the end of the second bottle and that's it now I gotta give a shout out to vape heads these bottles are really firm and because they're really firm, it means that it's really hard to pour these in fast. When you get some of the softer bottles, you squeeze it and the juice just goes and you don't want to be going that fast. You do want to let it go in slow so that it can settle. So now I'll just put the stopper back in. And this bottle actually feels quite a bit softer. Yeah, it's a lot softer to squeeze that bottle. And you can see the juice is now coming up to, to there. Now, we put the lid back on. Now this is the next step in this process is shake it. And you want to shake it for about a minute, two minutes. So I'm going to do that and speed this up so you don't have to watch me doing this. But yeah, we'll shake it, shake it up or shake it off or whatever shake you want to do. So that's it all shaken up now and that should be it now some juices when you get them like this they will need steeping now if you're not sure what steeping is that's basically you mix it up and you put it aside and you leave it and occasionally about once a day when you're steeping you want to go in take the lid off expose it to oxygen so that it can get a bit of air circulating then close it off again and put it back away uh, you can steep for a week for two weeks for a month it depends on what's recommended. Generally, if you're buying a juice that needs steeped, you should get instructions from the juice provider. Now, these ones have come with no instructions on steepage, so I'm just going to bash a bit on an RDA and see how it tastes. If it tastes at all sort of chemically, uh, not the flavor that you're expecting, then steeping is probably required. So I've got my pulse here, which I've killed the juice, which I've uh, vaped the juice that was on the coil off. So now it's just going to be a bit of this. And yeah, no chemical there at all. That's just 
full flavour, it's a very fruity flavour and I've, I'm quite liking that actually. I might end up vaping more of that. But that's pretty much it, that's how you mix in your next shots. Any questions leave them below in the comments, any other vaping related questions leave them in the comments and I'll see if I can do a vid on it. Uh, other than that, like, share, follow, subscribe, all the usual fun stuff. Uh, I do daily vlogs and I do reviews and I do answer vape questions. So be sure to leave a comment if you've got another question. Other than that, vape on.